Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can sign electronically an approval step with the approvals app in Microsoft Teams. This new feature is now available in one of my tenants. Without leaving team, an approvers can sign electronically an approval step. You can choose a third-party provider to provide and create an electronic signature. Ok, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. Let's start to explore this new feature that allows me to sign electronically an approval step. I will use, of course, Approvals app in Microsoft Teams. If this is the first time that you are listening about this app, I recommend you one of my video intro about this app. You can click in the top right corner right now. I already installed Approvals and this app is available in the left navigation panel of Microsoft Teams. Let me click on it. Now I can see my dashboard with all my approvals. I can switch between received approvals request and sent. On the right, I have the filter to restrict the visibility of all requests, requested or custom. I can even filter for all requests coming tenant-wide or all requests made and received that are originated from a team. Okay, let me jump now here on the left. There is a new voice available called Adobe Sign. Let's click on it. Now, in the middle, we can see that this is the Microsoft preferred e-signature solution. There are other third-party providers like Do DocuSign and so on. Now, if I want to start to play with this functionality, I have to sign in if I already have a license with Adobe Sign or I can start a free trial. Now, let me click on Start a Free Trial. This opens a web page of Adobe Sign with a form that you can fill out in order to start your free trial. I filled out the form, I confirmed it, and now I received an email to activate my Adobe Sign trial account. Below there is a link with every step that you have to follow in order to connect Adobe Sign with your Teams application. Now let's open this link. So here we can see every step that you have to follow in order to enable and integrate Adobe Sign in Microsoft Teams. As a full disclosure, I want to show you also the pricing. So there are two options, single user and multi user. For single user, you can see that there are three options available. For multi-user, again, we have three options. You can set up how many employees your organization has. And then finally, there is the third option. If you are a very big company, I recommend you to call and stay in contact with Adobe Sign in order to reach the best solution possible for your business. I am back in Microsoft Teams now and I can start to sign in with my trial account. Here I have a pop-up now, I can insert my email. Okay, I added my credentials, I can click on sign in. Once you sign in, Adobe Sign Dashboard will display for you all your requests that you performed by providing and creating an electronic signature. Okay, let's start to create the first approval request. Let's click on the button on the right. And then here there is the drop down request type. Clicking on the drop down, I am able to select e sign. Here you can select the provider. For the moment, it's only available Adobe Sign, but more providers will be available. Now, in the name of request, I will type project e bike. In the description, please have a look to the doc in order to start a project. Below, I can attach a file. I will click on link and then upload from my computer. Then I will attach this Word document. In the recipients, I can define who is approver and who is signer. I will define approver Diego Siciliani and I will add an additional approver which is also signer and this will be Adele Vance. Okay, now I am ready to submit and send my approval request. Let's click on the button send. Okay, all done, my request is created and here is listed under Adobe Sign. 
Changing perspective, I am now connected on the same tenant as Diego Siciliani and I have a new email. Now I'll show you two way that you have to approve and sign in an approval request with an electronic signature. You can open your email or you can directly from Teams clicking on the approvals app you will have the ability to click on Adobe Sign and here you can see your request. Now, if you click on the activity feed, you have also the ability to have a look to this new request. You can click on the button review. This will open a new tab in the browser and now here you can start a process to send in the document. Or you can do the same directly in Outlook by clicking on this link in the body of the email, review and approve. Diego Siciliani is just approver, it's not required an electronic signature. So that means that I can click on the start label here and then I can click on the button approve. Finally, I approved the request. So going back now on Microsoft Teams, I can see that something is changed going on the project e-bike approval request. I can see that Diego Siciliani has already approved my request. Now let's jump on Adele Events view. Here we go in Microsoft Teams as Adele Events now. I have in the activity feed a new notification, so I can click on it. And I can start now to provide my electronic signature. First of all, I have to sign in in Adobe. Okay, I will click now on the button sign in. And here we go. Now I can see the request coming from Giuliano. So I can click on the button review. So I can provide my electronic signature. As we have seen before, I can do the same directly in Outlook. I can click on the button review and sign and I will land on the same link. Here I can click on the label start and then I have here the ability to sign in this document. I already signed before the document so but if I click again on it I can click on the pen and here I can provide again my signature. Here we go, this is my signature. I can click now on confirm and now this signature is here in the last page of the document. This is pretty cool. Now to confirm the signature, I can click below on this button. Okay, now the document is signed. This means that if I jump back in Microsoft Teams as Giuliano, I will see this request now approved as status signed by Adele Vance and if I open the document now I can see this document signed by Adele Vance. Now I am back in the email of Adele Vance. I want to show you that every approver will get a summary PDF of the process. So clicking on this one I will have the file that I signed as Adele Vance and additionally, I will have in this last page a summary of every step. So a document has been created by Giuliano and Diego has been emailed. The email has been viewed by Diego Siciliani. So as you can see, I have every step until the last one where the agreement is completed and the document is signed by Adele Vance. Now let's see how it looks like this process on the smartphone. I'll use Adele Vance to start a new process here. So let's start to create a new approval request. Then from the drop down again is signed. And here now I will type the name of the request. Presentation to the company. Here just a description. I will add a file that I have here on my PC. Drone. The e-signer this time will be Giuliano. There we go. Must complete in order. Yes, but I have only one approver and signer Giuliano. Okay, let me send now this approval request. Here I am on my smartphone now. I am in outlook.office.com with Giuliano De Luca and I have the last email, which is the request provided by Adele Events. Let me tap on the email and here in the body, I have the button review and sign. Let me tap on it. This will open a new tab in the browser and here I can start a process in order to sign this document. Let me click on the button start and now here 
I can start to provide my electronic signature. Let me delete my previous and then I can go forward now. I provided my signature. I can tap on the button apply. Then on top I have the button finish. And as last step, I have to confirm my signature by tapping on tap to sign. And here we go, now the process is ended. In this video, how you can sign electronically an approval step within Microsoft Teams through the Approvals app. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!